This is the first of a set of three videos on completing the square. In this video, you'll learn what completing the square means using pictures. Completing the square is a trick you need to know about in the topic of solving quadratic equations. But before learning how to do the trick, let's see what happens when a square is expanded. For example, this one, x plus 3 in brackets squared. When you've multiplied out the brackets, you're going to end up with an x squared term, just x squared, an x term, in this case, plus 6x, and finally, a number term, plus 9. To see where this answer comes from, let's use pictures instead of algebra. There's x. x plus 3 looks like this. Square it, and it will look like this. And now I can break it up into boxes. This box is x by x, so its area is x squared. Here's a rectangle that's 3 by x, so its area is 3x. And here's another identical one, so that makes 6x in all. And finally, this corner square. It's 3 by 3, so the area is 9. So that confirms that the square of x plus 3 is x squared plus 6x plus 9. OK, so now I'll use this same example, but this time I'll ask the question in reverse. I'll give you the x squared plus 6x. And I'll ask, what number do you need to complete the square and so end up with a square shape? Well, here's the x squared. And this rectangle is the 6x. I'll cut the 6x into two equal rectangles, 3x and 3x, and place them here and here. And now the missing piece of the jigsaw. I want to end up with a square shape overall. I need to add another smaller square in the bottom right-hand corner. And this is it. It's a 3x3 three three square, so the number you need to complete the square is 9. Pop it in, and by adding 9, I have just completed the square, and it's the square of x plus 3. Here's another example. Complete the square for x squared plus 10x. So I'll follow the same steps as before. First the x squared. Next the 10x, which I'll slice into 2. 5x here, and the other 5x here. The final step is to complete the square, which I can do with a 5 by 5 square here in the corner. So by adding 25, I can complete the square. And it is the square of x plus 5. Now I'll complicate things a bit by choosing an example where the x term is negative. How could I complete the square for x squared minus 8x? As before, here's the x squared. And here's the 8x. And again, I'll slice it into two rectangles of 4x each. But of course, this time, the x term is negative. So these two rectangles must be subtracted rather than added. I'll take them out of the picture here and here. But there's a problem. Because I've placed them to overlap like this, I'm actually subtracting this little 4x4 four four square twice. To correct for this, I need to add it back in. So I need an additional plus 4 squared. OK, so now I have what I was after. By adding this 16, I have completed this smaller green square with no double counting, and it is the square of x minus 4. This is the first of three videos called Completing the Square. In this one, I use pictures to show how, by adding a square number, you can complete the square. 
In the next video, you'll see how to do the same thing using algebra.